Do you want to know why some people say that Chinese people are better at math than Americans? Well, that's kind of the subject of today's idea of the day. Look at this number here. What does this number mean to you? 15, right? Sounds pretty simple. 15. Now, you take a small child and you show them this number and what's their first instinct? One, five. One, five. Okay. They say one, five when they're one or two or whatever it is. They're first starting to speak. They just know one. They learned one and they learned five. Then you try to teach them that means 15. That's an abstract thing. They count. They learn to count. One, two, three, they count to 10. Everybody needs to learn to count to 10. But as soon as they get to 10, we change the rules. We say, all right, now you have to say 11. We don't say one, one, you say 11. When you get to 15, you don't say one and five, you say 15. Now they have to learn, in addition to the first 10 numbers, Right? The first nine if you count zero, or ten if you count zero. In addition to those first digits, let's call them digits now, they needed to learn 11, and then 12, and then 13, and 14, and then 15. But that's like, you gave them a different word for that, right? Isn't that weird? Now you get them, you say, all right, now I'll teach them. Now we get to 20. What's 20 look like? Oops, I got it over here. 20. Two zero. Kids can say two zero at first. I mean, you're st- and you have to then correct them. Say, no, that's not two zero. That's twenty. We're confusing them already. We're saying not two zero, twenty. And then you show them twenty one. No, they want two one. They want two two. And you're, te- you're, you're stopping them and say, no, 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 it's 21. And then you get 22, 20. And then you get- so essentially, we've got to teach them a whole vocabulary going up to 20, then 30. And right now, after a while, they might pick up the pattern, but it takes them a while to absorb that. But meanwhile, while we're doing that, we're back to our 15. Chinese people didn't learn that the same way because they don't have words that mean that. So their learning experience starts with them saying, well, what's this? They call that 1105. That's what they'll actually say in Chinese if you translated it, 1105. 1106. 2102. You follow what I'm saying? That's 2102. 2101. Now, if they don't need to learn that new vocabulary, especially things like 11. 11? 12? 12? So you take a Chinese person and you then start them on math. And you take a number like, you tell them to add four, you take an American, you tell them to add four, let's say um, 42 plus 27, right? That's really abstract for someone in an American, especially American child to comprehend. 42 plus 27. But if you were Chinese and you were doing math this way, where you just pronounce it the way it is, you'd be calling it 4102, not 42, 4102, and 2107. So they just add 410 and 210. They get 610, right? And then the 2 and the 7, they add and they come up with 9. So they know the answer. Because they're just doing very simple arithmetic. They only have to mem- memorize those digits where they are. Thankfully, our numbers improve when we get to 100. We say 105, 106. So if you ask somebody, can you add 105 plus 106? They'll say, all right, 5 and 6 is 11, and 100 and 100 is 200. It's easy math. It's 100 and 100. It's the same way they do their arithmetic with 10s and 20s and 30s and 40s and all the way up to there. So one of the reasons Chinese people learn math faster is because their building blocks, when they're very young and they're very impressionable, are very simpler uh, math uh, vocabulary. Their vocabulary for numbers is just simpler than it is here. So, and of course, that translates into just a quicker absorbance of the concepts of arithmetic. And then you add up other things that they, there's some Chinese geometry and so forth that get there. But their foundation is that their numbering system is just so much simpler. It's so much simpler to say 2101. 
than to teach somebody 21. And that's the way it is. And that's today's idea of the day. All right, there it is. That's today's idea of the day. Some of them are pretty good, right? And some of them suck, I admit. First to admit, some of my ideas suck. But if you visit Idea of the Day every day and you subscribe to my channel by looking at the subscribe link in the corner, you'll see a brand new idea every single day. And I promise you, some of them don't suck.